guys, so today's video is going to be a beauty stocking stuffer video. I have five drugstore products and five high-end products. I tried to pick things that you could just pick for anybody that you know is into makeup. It's not something that you need to know shade specific or anything like that. You could just pick it up for them, put it in their stocking, and they'll hopefully really enjoy it. So I'm going to start with the drugstore stuff. The first thing are these Wet n Wild highlighters. I have two different colors. These are the Mega Glow highlighting powder. Um, I have Precious Petals and Blossom Glow. And these are amazing and they're like $4. I'm going to swatch and hopefully you guys can see. I just got Blossom Glow because it's a new shade. The other one has been out for a while. They're both beautiful. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not. The top one... The top one here is Blossom Glow. It's like a sh like a pale pinky color, but it doesn't look super pink on the skin. And then the bottom one is Precious Petals, which is almost like a champagne-y gold kind of color. That one is definitely a little dark on me right now because I'm pale, but it's great in the summertime when I have a tan. They're definitely comparable to high-end highlighters, but they are literally like 4 or $5. And yeah, you can get them at the drugstore. Really, really enjoy them, and they are super popular, so highly recommend those. Seeing with the Wet n Wild theme, also they have liquid lipsticks that are amazing. I have three here. They are the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. I have really pink, really hard, Nudist Peach, which is definitely my favorite, and Berry Recognize. This one is like a deep purple, and it's gorgeous for this time of year. I'll swatch them for you as well. just want to show you guys what the applicator looks like. Hopefully you can see that. It has like a little dip in it. I like it. It kind of like hugs the curves of your lips and they have, I think they probably have like 8 to 10 colors so there's a good range and you could probably find something for anybody in your life. So right here we have Nudist Peach, then we have Pink Really Hard, and then we have Berry Recognize. They're all gorgeous. I really, really, really like the formula of these. I wear Nudist Peach all the time. I think it's great to get someone to put in their stocking and they're so easy on the wallet. Another thing I highly recommend. I have one more makeup product and then a couple of drugstore tools. This is the Lash Paradise Mascara. This is the waterproof black is black. I have it in the new package because I bought it back up. Mine's almost out. This is the best mascara I've ever tried. If you've tried the Too Faced Better Than Sex, which is like a high-end mascara, this is really similar. Like it has a similar brush, but this is honestly better. I find the Too Faced Better Than Sex definitely is kind of clumpy. This one is sort of clumpy, but in a good way. Like I really, really love this. And because it's waterproof, it holds the curl on my lashes, which I have a difficult time with them. And it just, oh, it hardly takes any work and your lashes just look fantastic. I don't know, I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I really, really like this. And I think it's probably around $10, which is generally what mascara is at the drugstore anyways. And who doesn't wear mascara? Literally everybody. So great thing to stock to stuff in someone's stocker. I can't, what? <laughs> to stuff in someone's stocking. I am having a difficult time saying that. I keep saying stock in someone's stuffer. Anyway, the last two things from the drugstore are tools. The first thing is this Eco Tools blending sponge. I did clean it, but it's kind of stained a little because I've used it a bunch. I've had it for a while. Um, this is like $6. It comes in this size and also a smaller size. This is a little bit big right now because I did wash it and it's still a little damp, so yeah, it's also a little bit worse for wear because I have had it for a while. Anyway, I really, really like this. This is definitely comparable to the Beauty Blender, which is like $20, but this is 6 But I actually like the shape of this the best out of every sponge that I've tried. I like that it has the smaller um, sort of angle on this side and then the longer one with the flatter side here. And then also it still just has like the bouncy bottom. And I just, I really, really enjoy this. I have a couple of them. I have the two different sizes and I really, really like this sponge. So I feel like everybody could use a makeup sponge in their life. They're so versatile. You can use them for like literally everything that you put on your face. So I would highly recommend this. And I think that any beauty lover would enjoy it as well. Then the last thing, I just have the box here. It's the Real Techniques Blend and Blur Base Foundation. <coughs> Real Techniques Blend and Blur Base Foundation Brush. So it looks like this. It is like those RTS brushes, which are a million dollars. This one I think retails for $20, which is still pretty expensive. I did get mine on sale at Ulta though, so if you can find a sale, I definitely recommend that. But it is a really nice gift to get someone, especially who's super into makeup, who probably already has like a bunch of regular brushes, and this is something different for them to try. It's super easy to just 
whip it on your face, get all the foundation on. It gets easily around your nose and everything and I've just really been enjoying this. I got it about three weeks ago and I am really, really into it. It's also really, really soft and it just feels cool and it's something cool and new and more than likely most people haven't tried this so if you want to get something cool for a beauty lover in your life, highly recommend this. Now moving on to the high-end stuff. The first thing is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. This is the sample size, or the travel size, I mean. You can also obviously get the bigger size. This is magic in a bottle. I have no idea what it does. I can't specifically tell you, but you spray it on before your makeup. You can also spray it on after, but I always spray it on before my makeup, and it just makes my makeup look amazing. It, it like hydrates your face and just makes your makeup last longer, and I haven't had it for a while and I just recently got it back and I just forgot how much I loved it. It's so, so good. It's really just magic and I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it's really popular so obviously other people see the magic in it too. It's not just me. If you didn't want to splurge on the big one because I think it's about 30 some odd dollars US, um, you can just get the travel size so that they can try it out if they've never tried it before. And yeah, I think this is great. Really, really, really like it. Next is winged liner winged liner next is liquid liner <laughs> this is the stila stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner it has a super fine tip it's just like a felt tip pen i've been using this for years and i've tried other liquid liners but this is the best one it's waterproof it doesn't budge it's really easy to get a wing winged liner on <laughs> It's really easy to draw a wing, a wing on, and I just really, really like this. It's, I think, around $20, so it's not super expensive, and it does last a long time. It doesn't dry up like other ones do super early. Um, I've had this one for a while, and it's still going strong. I just recently got back into wing liner, so I've been using it a lot, and I just reminded myself how much I love it. And a lot of people are into eyeliner, so if you notice someone that's in your life that has that's a beauty lover and they wear winged liner all the time, I would highly recommend picking this up for them because it's the best liner in my opinion. Next, also from Stila, is this little trio. Now I'm not sure if this trio is available, but the point is the glitter that comes in it. So this one is the Stila Written in the Stars Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. I got this at Ulta and it came with three different uh, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows. It came with Diamond Dust, Kitten Karma, and Smoky Storm. These are little small sizes, but you can get the full size just separately, and I would recommend even just the full size if you can't get this kit. This kit, I don't know if I mentioned just then, it was $25. So it's basically liquid glitter, and you don't need a glitter primer, it's not loose or anything, you can just put it on your eyes, and it stays, and it's awesome, and I really, really like it. I used uh, Kitten Karma in my holiday makeup look, so I'm not sure if that video is going up before this one or not, but just keep an eye out for that, or I will link it if I have already put it up so you can see what it's like in action but like you can just put a little bit on and blend it out with your finger or you can put a ton on and have a like a full solid glitter and it's they're just amazing they're so so good I'm I don't know why I waited so long to pick them up because I just got this like a couple months ago but really really like them and the holiday season obviously everyone loves glitter so and some of them definitely have more of like a base color than others but again if you just want the glitter of it you can kind of blend it out with your finger and you'll just get like the glittery part of it so I swatched it in like the worst place possible Okay, can you see that? The silver one here on the bottom, that one is Diamond Dust, the middle one is Kitten Karma, and then the darker one is Smoky Storm. I haven't actually used Smoky Storm yet, but I have used um, the silver one, Diamond Dust, for Halloween, and it worked perfect. And also, like I said, I used Kitten Karma in my holiday tutorial, and these are perfect. Who doesn't love glitter around the holidays? I highly recommend, even if you just get one of these and you can't get the kit, I'll link it down below if I find the kit. Otherwise, I'll just link them individually, but really, really like them. And again, they're super popular, so don't think you can go wrong with them. The last two things are lips. First, I have to mention this. I probably have mentioned this before, and I have used this before, and I used it in my holiday tutorial this year as well because it is the most perfect red, especially for Christmas time. It's the Too Faced Melted Matte uh, in Lady Balls. This is a small version of it, but the color is just perfection. This isn't my favorite type of liquid lipstick. Like, I've definitely, other ones are better. Like, honestly, the Wet n Wild ones are better. This one's a little bit drying, but it stays on super, super well. And like I said, it's like the most perfect red for Christmas time. So how could I not mention this? Who doesn't love a classic red lip? 
over Christmas. I mean, I can't stay away. <laughs> this is that color there. Just absolute perfection. So gorgeous. And honestly, you can probably get this. Usually Too Faced comes out with a little holiday kit and that has like one, one or two of these and then two of the other kind of liquid uh, lipsticks that they have. So if you can find that, then that's also a great stocking stuffer. But seriously, this color, Lady Balls, love the name, love the color. <laughs> and lastly, these are some of my favorite formula of lip, liquid lipstick. It's the Tur Tardis Lip Paint. Obviously, I just have two little sample sizes because I got them in different kits. I haven't actually purchased any full size ones because I have like three of these, but one is in rose, which is probably my favorite color. And the other one is birthday suit. I also have a glossy version of one and I don't know where that is, but that one's nice as well. These ones are both the matte colors. Rose is like more of a, like a warmer nude and birthday suit's more of a cooler nude. I don't know if you can get birthday suit separately. It was the gift from Sephora this year. So sorry if that color's not available, but you can definitely get rose. These are great. They stay on really well. They feel like nothing on your lips and I really, really like them. I think lipstick is like a universal thing that you can get a beauty lover because who do, you, like, you can never have enough lipsticks. You really can't. But yeah, these are the two colors here. Rose is on the bottom and then birthday suits on the top. So like you can see it's more of a cooler nude and this one's more of a warmer nude. I love them. They're probably my favorite, favorite version of, of uh, liquid lipstick besides the wet and wild ones. So yeah, if you wanna splurge a little, you can probably get a kit with different ones in it. I know I have seen one with like eight different um, mini versions of these in it from Sephora. So that's something that you could get if you wanted to get a bunch of them and they have different options. But yeah, I really like all of these products. Obviously that's why I'm recommending them. I think that anybody that's in your life that loves beauty would love to have any of these in their stocking. So I'm gonna go clean off my <laughs> because it's a mess right now. But yes, if you needed some last minute things to put in some stockings for your makeup beauty lover in your life, then hopefully I gave you some ideas. I 100% stand behind all these products and I really, really enjoy them and I've used them a lot. So I think that they'll be great for anybody that's in your life. I'm gonna stop saying the same thing over and over again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.